we've had some changes on my campus this year and we're learning that that's a really good thing. It's stretching us and it's growing us and it's helping us to become better educators. And a few of the ways that I've had to change this year, which I'm really glad that I needed to do it, I've been leading professional development, um, not only on my campus, but district-wide. I've been co-teaching a lot this year. I've been able to get out of the library and go into the classrooms. Now, I am still in the library some, and I love my library, but it's also so good to get out into the classrooms and to see what the, the classrooms look like, to see how the teachers interact with their students, to let them see me in their classrooms. It's been fabulous. I also have been teaching lessons in the computer lab so that the students can all interact with the computers and do what I'm doing while I'm leading the lesson. Go to the grade levels when they're having their planning meetings. I'll usually sit down with the English language arts groups and they just kind of tell me what they're planning on teaching. And then I can make suggestions for resources or websites or databases, or I can extend their lesson in my library lesson when they come into the library. And my teachers have loved it. The feedback has been fabulous on that this year. One of the other things that um, we've been doing is we've been meeting with our curriculum coaches and our, our technology coaches so that as we're planning lessons for the next month or we're planning the guidelines for the next month, we're all there together so that we can share those resources, make suggestions, uh, bounce ideas off of each other, and it's such a benefit for our teachers so that they have all their resources in one place and then of course that benefits our students.